So today I'm gonna teach you how to make a ginger and spring onion chicken. This is a really popular dish at home because it's very simple. I love it and I hope you love it too. Today we're gonna have a special guest with us. Okay, so let's welcome my Tito Sandy Daza. Hi, Belle. Hi, Tito Sands. Hi, Mommy. <laughs> do I look like Lala Nora? You do? Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh no. <laughs> okay, so today we're going to be cooking ginger spring onion chicken yes. from Lola Nora's cookbook. Correct. But before that, I wanted to know how did you get into cooking? I actually don't know the story. Is actually, it Lola's influence? Actually, no. It, it was my love for eating. And I became very curious how to make the dishes. Okay. So that's But you how... thought you had to cook also. Um, it was more of exposing us to what she was doing. She was always very curious. How do you make that? Yeah. And she had a good... Uh, uh, how to build the taste palette and correct. the taste buds. And she I had a very good taste. From... Good. Usually I'm nervous, but then since you're here, you're an expert. Or, you know, you really teach well. So the first thing we need is... Mm. Flour muna. How much flour do you have? Okay, here it says half a cup of flour. Okay. I wanted to ask, when you cook, do you really follow the measurements or you kind of like... If you're a new cook, I suggest you follow the the, measurements. the measurements because it's building your confidence. Eh? And what's very important, Belle, is you have the ingredients in front of you okay. arranged according to sequence of use, pre-portion. Okay. okay. Now, you can put the chicken inside. And then okay. shake it. Yeah. Okay. All over, up and down. And then we have cooking oil already. All right. So we're going to start frying. And you have to test that. The way to test that is to get some flour. How do you know? Yeah, a little bubble. Oh. Okay. Actually, there's there's a variety of uh, dishes that can come out of this recipe. Yeah. You can even make a... Uh, are you familiar with a Japanese fried chicken called karage? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Or make it parang tonkatsu. Crazy how many ways diba? you can do this ginger and spring onion chicken. No. Now, as you build your confidence in the kitchen, that's when you can start creating that. So, let's start the sauce tomat. The first thing that you put in is the ingredient that cooks the longest. Yes. So, that's the ginger, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. What you're trying to do here, you shrink the ginger and extract the flavor using the oil. Then you add in the spring onion. Okay. So, this is yeah. the water. Yeah, that's the water. Okay, soy sauce. Soy sauce. The soy sauce will be the seasoning. Okay. And the sugar. There we go. See, it's so easy when Tito Sandy is here. Now, any... very important, Bell, is to taste also. Always okay. taste, okay? You so, know what Lola also taught me, which is very simple, but very, very important also. She, she told me, if it tastes good to you, serve it. Your taste buds will decide whether this is good enough to, to serve or not, right? Yeah. So you, that's why you have to expose your taste buds. How to thicken this is to add in corn some starch. Corn starch. Let's put in. We have some Maya corn starch over right. here. It says two tablespoons of corn starch. Okay. Dispersed in one half cup of water. That's what you call a slurry. In. Okay, so now. You just add some of this first because you want to see how thick it'll become. You don't want it too thick. If it's too thick, you can add a little water. Now, at this point, there are two things you can do here. Eh? You can fully fry the chicken okay. until it's cooked. Should I do it? You can, okay. okay. Or you can finish cooking the chicken in the sauce. Now, what you want to do here, Bell, because it will happen here, is that if you simmer it uncovered, the sauce will dry out. So you have to cover it. So maybe but about. How long will it stay? 15, 20 minutes. So I don't need to introduce mm. you to Maya, obviously, you know it. Yes, we I grew, grew up, up with, with Maya. It. Correct. Oh. Jinx, that was not scripted. <laughs> yeah, I know, diba? You know, a lot of the Maya winners became, you know, celebrities like Chef, Chef Jesse, Jesse. Yeah. si Lilian, Aching, Aching Lilian Borromeo from Pampanga. That's and, true. Mm. Chef Jesse told me mm. that Lola Nor was the one who helped her really? be where she is today. So it uh, makes me like so proud. Sana we can eat their free, no? <laughs> <laughs> Take <Jesse>. advantage of <laughs> Pinoy ka talaga. Oh, Pinoy, Pinoy. <laughs> Kaya <Kaya-kaya>. mo <laughs> Okay, uh, so back to the recipe. Mm. We have flipped the chicken over. Alam ka naman once. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, look at it, look at it. Look at it. Yeah, no? Then I chew the nail, see? So with this, the chicken skin, my question is, it's not anymore that crispy. No, definitely not. But, you know, the advantage naman is the sauce penetrated the chicken also. Okay. So it's going to so be tasty. So it's very juicy and yes. tasty. Yes. 
You know your dish is good when you watch the people and they start swallowing. Di ba? <laughs> this looks so uh, good. Okay, yeah, you can turn okay. that off, Belle. Okay, yeah. Right, let's turn it off. Yeah. Okay, this is cooked, but yep. the true mm -hmm. test is the tasting of it. Of course. So let's plate this now. So here we have the ginger and spring onion chicken yes. from Let's Cook with Nora, the cookbook. Mm -hmm. And it's time to try. Okay. Okay, here, perfectly cooked. Yeah. Boom! Oh my god, it's so good. Diba? Oh my god, it's so yummy. No! I'm so you can shocked. Make this at home. I'm Easily. so shocked. Yeah. It's so delicious. Shut up. Sorry, okay, can I, I taste? <laughs> can I taste? Is it, is it okay? <laughs> Go there! Oh, okay. Taste okay. that chef. And then you just part of it. Guys, you have to try it. It's so delicious. Yeah, winner. Mm. So good, Tito Sans. I was gonna high five, but it didn't happen. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> You looked away. I did that. <laughs> we hope you guys try this at home and watch out for more episodes of Cooking with My Lola presented by Maya. Thank you so much, Tita San. Thank for you. Thank you, Bella. Teaching me all the fun facts. My pleasure. Yes. There's so many things I learned.